Hey everybody, I'm going to take you through an upgrade of the software on your Anycubic Viper. Uh, if you go to the anycubic.com website, scroll all the way to the bottom of the Viper page, you'll see some files that you can download. One of them is the firmware. And depending on which motherboard version you have, that's the file that you want to use. There's two uh, different dot .bin, dot .bin binary files there. Uh, and how do you tell which version of the motherboard you have? These stickers, contrary to popular belief, mean nothing. Uh, OC Pass 06 and 05, I happen to have both. Uh, those are certainly not an indicator of motherboard version. What will tell you the motherboard version, for better or for worse, uh, you have to get underneath your printer here. It's over here on this side. I'm not going to crush anything. No. Uh, you get under here. There's two screws in the front here. You can probably catch those right off the edge. And one screw, one longer screw toward the back. On this side right here, this small panel pops right off. And you can see your motherboard version. Okay. It should say v0.0.5 .0 or v0.0.6 and that will tell you which file you want to use. Now, what you do is you take that file, you put it on an SD card, this is one I happen to have sitting around, and uh, you should make sure there's nothing else on the card. In fact, they recommend you format the card completely, uh, so you might want to back up the files that came if you're using the the SD card that came with the Viper you probably want to back some of those files up uh, because it has some uh, Cura profile uh, the PDF for the manual and some other things so you might want to back all that stuff up and then format the card FAT32 with a 4096 uh, size and then then you'll be good to go then you want nice clean formatted card Put only the .bin file on here. Uh, well, we might as well go through this together. But first, um, before I do that, I'm going to do the screen update. And that was a little trickier. So, a couple things. The screen is almost like a cell phone. Sort of like a... Not quite like a cell phone, but it's sort of... It's a, it's a screen and it has a, uh, you know all the touch screen elements to it. And this cable back here... The other thing it has is a slot at the bottom here. Now, the manual or the readme file that comes on the download refers to using a SD card. But what you really need is a micro SD card. Now, they don't give one to you. I happen to have one sitting around. What's a micro SD card? It looks like this. Uh, mine's already in there. I'll show you. I'll pop it out. It's a little tricky to get out of there. And do I have a little something that can help me safely push this? I think so. It does need to click the way mine is clicked. Here you go. There's a micro SD card. So hopefully you can see me pop that out of there. It sort of pushes in and out. Uh, micro SD card, quite small. I'm sure uh, you can tell it's sort of considerably smaller than the full size. Now, if you happen to have one of these and you want to get the files on and you're like, what do I do? Uh, any cubic thought of you there? Not only did this awesome thing that they send you have a SD card reader, it also has a micro SD card reader in the back and you can pop that right in there read your micro SD card or the full size SD card copy the files as you see fit okay great this thing's handy uh, I happen to have you know a micro SD card reader uh, converter myself but uh, for those that don't have one it was thoughtful for them to give you one that would do that all right so I want to do the screen update first this uh, is a little tricky to get in, oops, and it goes in pin side up. 
Try to do this so that my hands aren't in the way here. There you go. Right. Then you'll have that nice little positive click, and you'll see the thing is well in there. Instructions do say to simply put the flash drive in, boot the screen up, and we'll be in business. So let's try it and see what happens. Power. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Getting some blue screen. It says SD card process. Download, download, download. Uh, it's downloading files. Let's see if I can't get that more visible. There we go. And I believe at some point it should go to a blank screen and then reboot. We'll see what happens. There's an awful lot of files as a result. Okay, so what did I put on, while this is doing this? I, I want to reiterate what did I put on this SD card. Uh, the SD card contains a folder. Uh, and I'll get the folder name for you, but uh, the, it contains the folder, not the files themselves, but the folder that contains the files. Uh, you want to put that right at the root of this, uh, and I formatted this in the same way with um, FAT32 and 4096. Oh, well, that was a pretty good sound. Uh, SD card process, end. Uh, I let this sit for like another five or ten minutes on this screen. The instructions that came with this bundle of files does say something very different than what happened here on the screen. It's supposed to boot blue, do something, uh, play some animation, go back to blue, something else. No mention of the little, uh, any cubic startup song that was played. I'm going to power this off. I'm going to eject my micro SD card. Let's see how it does on the power up. Okay, cool. All right, everything looks all right. I don't see anything too different. I think some of the, uh, I think some of the menus are supposed to be different, but, uh, well, while we're here, let's look at this, which is interesting, about. Uh, I am on version 2.3.3, and we're going to change that right now. Take my SD card, which has the .bin file here. Full-size SD, not micro SD, like we learned. Okay, and that's clicked in. Here we go. So this is very interesting. I tried a different... Aha! Uh -huh. That's really interesting. Okay, so I had a 2 gigabyte SanDisk SD card that I've been using to print files quite successfully. Uh, and like I said, I used this old uh, micro SD card that I had kicking around, which was also 2 gig, to do the screen, and that worked fine. However, for whatever reason, the only way I was able to update the software, which you can see is now 2.3.5, for whatever reason I had to use the 8 gig SD card that came with the Anycubic Viper. Uh, I formatted it, uh, FAT32, allocation size 4096, stuck the .bin file in the root at the top level folder, popped it in here, booted, and you sort of saw uh, it did not play the animation music, and then, um, and then it just beeped a couple times, and here we are. It 
doesn't show anything on the print screen. But uh, clearly, I am updated now to, to the newer versions. I was on 2.3.3. I'm going to run the auto level program. That takes just a couple of minutes, and then I should be good to go. Okay. Let's recap. SD card, you want the dwin underscore set folder. On a micro SD, micro SD, see I just called it an SD card too. On a micro SD card, that goes, pins up, down here, on the bottom. You got to push it in all the way until it makes that nice little click sound. It's not easy. I had to use this because my thumbnail just wasn't able to do it. So, um, uh, do all that with the, with the uh, machine powered off powered on for me it did not match what the instructions were they simply uh screen went blue gave me some output then it played the any cubic song and said sd process end exclamation point i let it sit there for a number of minutes it did nothing past that so i just powered it off popped the sd card out screen update was good next uh, tried multiple times to put the .bin file uh, on a freshly formatted 2 gig SanDisk full-size SD card that, uh, for whatever reason, it just wouldn't um, auto-boot and update. <clears throat> Don't know why. I used the SD card that came with the Viper, which is... 8 gig i don't think that makes a difference i did freshly format this as well also fat 32 also uh 4096 allocation size and for whatever reason when i did that you saw the little process it really only took like 30 seconds beeped here we go so i'm just going to uh i'm going to fire this up again and run the um leveling program Oh good, glad my, my song is back because I do I do kind of like that. And prepare, leveling, auto level, probing will start. Let it rip. Okay, there it goes. Uh, okay, I'll let this run and we'll be done.